At 2.10, the bell will ring and fall break will begin. How McCracken students will spend the week. I'm Justice Beard. And I'm Ella Choop. Plus, Gage Lawrence introduces us to a new segment where you could find your soulmate. Mustang TV News starts right now. It's something students love to complain about, cert testing. Last week, we all took tests in science, reading, math, and English. The tests, along with after-school prep, are in place at MCHS to prepare you for the ACT in college. Mustang TV's Rebecca DeSimo and Grace Samples report. As many students know, cert testing began this week. CERT, or College Equipped Readiness Tool, is a test designed to prepare students for the ACT. In addition to this, after-school ACT prep has begun. We asked Cannon Shakes his opinion on these preparations. I think ACT prep is important because, like, if you don't do well in the ACT, then you probably won't get into very many colleges. And if you don't get into colleges, then you can't go to college. If you don't go to college, that could screw you over sometimes. But, like, ACT prep is important because, like, if you get a better score, you get into more colleges, you get more keys money, it's just all around a good thing. We asked Mr. Harper about ACT prep and it's important to test scores. ACT prep is important. Uh, it'll help familiarize you with similar questions that you could see on the ACT test. The teachers will go over strategies for taking the ACT. There are certain strategies that have been proven to be more successful and helpful on taking the test versus other methods that each individual student might think is right on their own end. Uh, so we try to offer various uh, sessions for ACT prep so students can come and get familiar with those strategies. Remember, sophomores through seniors will take the ACT at school this year. You can take the test up to 12 times, so there are plenty of chances to get the scores you need for both college interests and keys money. Lately, there has been an increase in littering in and outside the school. This is not only bad for the environment, but it makes our school not so nice to look at. Miss Woods, the House 5 principal, gave us some further information. If a student is caught littering, they can be fined. And if they are caught doing this multiple times, it will result in ISD. So please, throw your trash in the bin instead of on the ground. To get financial aid, including federal grants and loans, students must complete the free application for federal student aid, otherwise known FAFSA. Many states and colleges will use your FAFSA information to determine how eligible you are for financial aid. The general requirements involve being a U.S. citizen, having a financial need, and being enrolled in an eligible degree. Engaging in this program provides money for tuition, room and board, books, and transportation. The current deadline for FAFSA application is June 23rd, 2023. Here at MCHS, we had our first blood drive of the year on September 22nd. Our original goal was 110 units of blood. With about 105 donors, we beat our goal by 5 units. Our next blood drive will take place on December 2nd and will be open to students whose first hour is in houses 1, 2, and 3. If more spots are available after signups at the start of November, the drive will be open for students in all houses. The MCHS Media Club works hard behind the scenes to produce live content for our home sports games, primarily football and basketball. Mustang TV's Atlee Stanley and Ryan Wallace put Media Club in the spotlight this week. Media Club is the student-run force behind our YouTube live stream. Senior Kate White, a returning member, describes what goes on when they aren't streaming. When I'm not actually here for games, I'm normally making graphics for the games. I also do other events, but right now it's mainly just football games because that's all that's really going on. 
Sophomore Parker Pumphrey runs the replays you see on the Jumbotron and on the stream. Here are his first impressions as a newcomer. Because my friend Kanan was like, hey, you should join. We need cool people. And I was like, I'm a cool person. And so I joined. It was kind of awkward because I only knew Kanan, but Kanan knew all these other people, so he would hang out with a bunch of other people. And But then eventually I figured out how to intervene myself into the whole shtick of Media Club. Sophomore Eden Axtell Cooper is behind the camera, and although she hasn't had any media classes, she joined anyway. And I joined because I don't have very many activities, and I just wanted to try something new. I've never worked with the camera before, and I know some people in the club, and I just thought it looked interesting. Um, the people are very nice. They're kind of weird, but in a good way. Um, they're very good people, and I really hope I can be friends with them. With the basketball season approaching, Media Club needs extra hands. To join, use the remind code MCHSMedia1 or speak to Ms. Griffith in room 2113. The Media Club will be streaming the homecoming game on October 21st. Watch live on YouTube at McCracken Media Team. McCracken County High School stands out in helping students enroll and succeed in college according to greatschools.org, which has given MCHS the College Success Award for 2022. The group recognizes public high schools across the country. 43 high schools across the state were also given the award. The McCracken Marching Band continued their competition season last Saturday, the 24th, in Union City. They performed their show, The Queen's Gambit, and competed against 17 other bands, placing fourth overall. Their next competition is tomorrow at Murray State University's Festival of Champions. Election Day is coming soon. On November 8th, students who have turned 18 will be able to vote in the election in order to choose our state and local representatives. Social Studies teacher Mr. Williams says it's important for students to show up and vote. So students should vote because it's really important for participating in government. Um, you get to pick your elected officials, you decide who's going to represent you. Um, these are people that are going to make decisions that affect you and your life, and you should have a say in who's going to be doing that. To vote in November's election, you must be registered by October 11th. Again, election day is November 8th. We will be out of school that day. The Chess Club is one of many clubs at McCracken. Everyone is welcome regardless of experience. Those who want to challenge themselves more can participate in tournaments like those who participated in the USCF membership tournament last Saturday. Sophomore member Daniel Kraus loves playing chess. When you can wipe the floor with your opponent, that's probably my favorite part. Meetings are held from 2.15 to 3 o'clock. Pay attention to the morning announcements to see when they are. POSA has a new health initiative to improve the lives of students and staff. The initiative uses calendars to track mental and physical wellness with simple challenges to improve health. Three HOSA members told us what they hope to get from the initiative. They also told us about other ways HOSA helps the community. HOSA reaches out to um, the community. We volunteer. Um, we are able to compete at HOSA State and HOSA ILC um, and reach out to the community informing people on their health. With these calendars, we hope that it can just encourage people to take a few minutes of their busy day for themselves because sometimes it's not easy to take time for yourself and take care of yourself, so that's what we're really hoping to accomplish here. If you are interested in joining HOSA, see Miss Dial, Miss Heisner, Miss Bivens, or Miss Gwen. You can also get more information on the HOSA board in House 3. With fall break being next week, reporters Alex Gilmore and Sabrina Stinson went around asking teachers and students about what their plans for fall break are. I will be working the entire fall break nonstop. I'm going to Chicago for fall break. What am I doing for fall break? I'm working and sleeping. I'm sleeping. Sunday I'm seeing Prince Daddy and the Hyena. The Saturday after fall break I'm going to be seeing Alex G. Yeah, I'm seeing Alex G in St. Louis. What are you doing over fall break? I'm going to be hanging out with my friends over fall break. We're going to New Orleans. Over fall break, I'm going to be working. I'm going to sleep. Now introducing the Gageler. It's Gage the Van Lawrence with the Gageler. I'm going to do y'all a favor, okay? The love in here is so dry. I'm gonna set you guys up. There's gonna be three beautiful contestants and one beautiful contestant right here. 
So y'all better sign up through the QR codes throughout the school or do it on the Instagram because I want to set y'all up, you know. I got you guys. But remember, you know, my last segment was all about laughing. This one's about love. I got to spread the love around the school, you know. I'm tired of everybody hating. So your boy Gage got you. Mustang golfer Sophie Howell will tee off at state next week. For Mustang TV Sports, I'm Ryan Wallace. Sophie advanced to the state tournament next week after placing 11th at Sub State this week. My goals this year were just like better myself from last year, just do better than I did the season before and improve. It's always just better myself. I worked especially on the season by just staying consistent, like showing up. I think it's very important to just practice. Like that's how you get better. <laughs> just be practicing and be consistent. The state tournament will be held October 7th and 8th in Bowling Green. On Saturday, the bass fishing team had three top 10 finishes in the first event of the season. McCracken had 11 two-person team participate in the Marshall County event. The team came home with a third place finish from CJ Canada and Nick Hayes. The fifth, the fifth, a fifth place finish from Jackson Hicks and Cameron Porter and a seventh place finish from Samuel Harris and Bailey Haida. Harris and Haida also received a Big Bass Award with a three pound, 14 ounce bass. The next week, the next event is in October, is on October 29th at Moore's Marina. The men's soccer team competed in the River Region Rumble on our home field this weekend. We beat St. Patrick Chicago 2-1 on Friday, but sadly lost to University City St. Louis on Saturday. The first district tournament game will be held on October 3rd. The Lady Stang soccer team played a doubleheader in the Bruin Classic last Saturday. They went 6-1 against Shelby County with Kira Tyne scoring three of their goals. They then beat North Harden 5-1 with Carson Hollard blocking eight scores on the goal. The varsity team will be going to districts on October 3rd. The Kraken County football team will be on the road at Davis County this week starting at 7 p.m. The Mustangs are coming into this week 2-4 as Davis County is 4-2. Last week, the Mustangs defeated Apollo 34-14. The Davis County Panthers are the Mustangs' biggest threat in their district. The Mustangs are going to bring the same energy as they brought for Apollo. They're going to bring, they are going to bring Davis two-time WPSD Performer of the Week. Zeno Cornelius talked about their next opponent. Uh, I feel pretty good. Uh, it's really all about practice, and I feel like practice is pretty good this week. We've been uh, locked in the focus, so I say uh, it'd be pretty good this week for sure. If you cannot make the drive to Davis, you can listen on the radio at 99.5 The Fan. The Mustangs are undefeated in their district and in first place. The volleyball team plays tonight in the Quad State Tournament against Apollo and is a team to be determined. They played Tuesday night against CCA and they won 3-0. They also play on Saturday against Murray and another team to be determined also in the Quad State Tournament. The volleyball team is 18-6. In the region, they are 8-0, to and in the district, they are 6-0. to 
Last Saturday, the men's cross country team played third at Marshall and the women's placed 15th. The women's team competed yesterday at Mad Marshall Dash. Both men's and women's teams will compete at Greater Louisville this upcoming Saturday. All right, what's good, y'all? We back again. Jay's Jams, part four. We got a little slideshow today. A little fancy stuff for y'all today. But um, y'all thought we was for real just going around getting interviews, telling you what song are you listening to? I mean, we were. But in the background, we've been gathering up some data and trying to show y'all right here real quick. We got a pie chart. Like I said, fancy. We got most listened to, Baby Tron, uh, Young Boy, Juice World, King Von, and then, like, looks like a normal pie chart, right? Well, you're wrong. Roll the clip. I'm not listening to anything right now. You're not listening to anything? You got an AirPod in. I know, it's not doing It's tragic. I ain't listening to nothing. Nothing? Nothing right now. All right, y'all, y'all gonna have to give me a second. This pains me. Genuinely pains me. This is the real pie chart. And this is a real problem. I don't know if you think you look cool because you have some headphones in and you're not listening to music, but let me tell you something. It's not a fashion statement. We all got them. I have some in my pocket. If you want to look cool, wear a necklace, do something. I don't know. But the headphones is not it. This is a problem. It's almost 50%. That's half of y'all. All right, so I had to cool down for a second. You know, I didn't want to go too deep into it. I mean, you could be listening to nothing, I guess. But as long as within, like, I'd say a minute, you actually start listening to music, you're fine. But... Now here, we got the most listened to genres. Shout out Mozart. But apparently everybody likes rap at McCracken. I mean, I don't blame y'all, that's mostly what I listen to. But guess what? Not the right pie chart. Again, what is this, bruh? That's 27% of y'all. That's a big number. You should be listening to something. It's not that hard. Like, I don't understand. What goes through your head is like, yeah, nah, let me pop in the AirPod real quick. I bet I'll look real cool. No. All right, so it's not too bad, though. I mean, we got our most listened to song here. Crazy Story Part 3 by King Vaughn. I'm sorry to all you Baby Tron fans. <coughs> Malachi. But, you know, uh, what if I told you? It's nothing. Again. Please seek mental help. Do something. If you need a playlist, it's not like I don't have a whole segment about music. It's not like your friends don't listen to music. Just do something other than twiddle your little headphones all day without listening to anything. It's a problem. It's a genuine problem. You need to seek mental help. Therapist, psych ward, I don't know. Something. All right, y'all. That's it. You know, ooh, like I said, we're fancy today. But, you know, it's the end, and it's kind of a coincidence. It's the end of the slideshow. And if you still aren't listening to music with headphones in, it might be the end of my sanity. But um, other than that, thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Thank you so much for joining us on another ep weekly episode of Mustang TV News. You can find this and every other episode on our YouTube channel, so subscribe. And don't forget, everyone matters, and, and every, every moment, moment counts. And every moment counts. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>